Minister Emeritus and Governor of Bauchi State, the Pearl of Tourism in Nigeria's Northeast Zone, Governor Isa Yuguda, and his Lagos State born wife, Hajia Hawa Abiodun Yuguda, took events in Nigeria's social scene to a different level with the marriage of two of their sons happening simultaneously. The event, which was well attended by friends of the couple and their parents, was purely a celebration of the cultures of the bride and the groom and the true essence of intercultural marriage featuring traditional music at its best. The people of Ilori in Kwara State, home place of the bride, showcased the richness of their music while Bauchi State people paraded the music and dance peculiar to their people. The multi-legged marriage of the Yugoda brothers began on Thursday, 18th December 2014 with the Fatia ceremony of the wedding of Yahya Isa Yuguda and Dr. Asiya Mujisola Yusuf, which was well attended by friends of both families. <laughs> The event shifted to Mutazu village in Katsina on Saturday, 20th of December 2014, when Governor Isa Yuguda and his wife were joined by their friends and family members to seek the hand of Sophia Aliu Mekano in marriage. The groom, Umar Isa Yuguda, who has a master's degree in IT, married Sophia Aliu Mekano from Mutazu village in Katsina state. The grand finale of the wedding of the Yuguda brothers took place at the International Conference Center Abuja on Sunday 21st of December 2014. The beautifully decorated venue attracted a record-breaking attendance of the friends and family members of the couple and their parents from different parts of the globe. The rich roll call of dignitaries included President Goodluck Jonathan, who was represented by his Chief of Staff, retired Brigadier General Jones Arobofa. The First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan, was represented by the Minister of State for FCT, Oloi Olajumoke Akinjide. Also in attendance was the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, al Haji Ahmad Adamumuazo, CON, who led other Bauchi state indigents to give the father of the grooms, Governor Isa Yuguda, the much needed and deserved Bauchi state solidarity. Elder statesman Chief Edwin Clark joined former minister and ambassador, al Haji Dr. Hassan Adamu, who was the chairman of the wedding, and other governor colleagues of Governor Isa Yuguda, who came from Katsina, Gombe, Cross River, Kogi, and other parts of the country. The wife of former head of state, Mrs. Ajoke Mohammed, was at the head of wives of governors from different states of the country, who had come to support the mother of the grooms, wife of Bauchi State Governor, Haja Hawa Abiodun Yuguda. The wife of former Vice President, Haja Titi Amina Atiku Abubakar, and an impressive array of friends of the mother of the grooms, Hajia Hawa Abiodun Yuguda, from the Lagos, Abuja, Potakot, and Northern Axis of Nigeria, registered a robust presence at the High Octane wedding. The wedding of the Yuguda brothers was a classic showcase of how the people of Northern Nigeria exhibit sophistication without losing touch with the tenets of the Islamic religion and their tradition. The wedding of the Yuguda brothers from Bauchi State and their in-laws, the Yusus from Ilori Kwara State and the Mekanus from Mutazo Village in Kasina State opened the eyes of Nigerians to the fashion and dress sense of our brothers and sisters from the northern part of our country. Conspicuously noticeable was the special red color lace attire which came in different designs in which all friends of the mother of the grooms turned out. The High Octane event began in earnest as the couples of the moment, Yahaya Isa Yuguda and his half trob Ilori born bride, Dr. Asya Mujisola Yusuf, and Umar Isa Yuguda and his wife, Sophia Aliume Kano from Metazo Village in Kasina State, stormed the arena looking resplendent and gorgeous in the outfits they turned out in. As the audience stood to receive them, the parents of the couple felt on top of the world 
exuding a sense of fulfillment. Having settled down properly, the wedding took off on a spiritual note with prayers for the success of the wedding. That done, it was then time for the opening remarks. This was done by the chairman of the wedding, Ambassador Hassan Adamu, who availed the couple his decades of experience in the sacred marriage institution, advising them to let true love and respect for each other prevail in their relationship. He heartily congratulated the parents on both sides for the great day and wish the couple a very successful marriage. Um, the bride and the bridegroom, marriage is a serious business. You know, when uh, uh, in my own language, in full full day, I said that um, when you come to live together, you also come to fight together. So it is not going to be bed of roses. You must love each other, you must be honest with each other, you must respect each other. For the bridegroom, you must know that you have beautiful ladies in your hand. You have to be honest to them, you have to love them. If you want them to earn your respect. And for the bride, please make sure you feed them well. The casting of the magnificent wedding cake was witnessed by a legion of highly placed dignitaries. Former First Lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Ajoke Mohammed, yielded the task of supervising the cutting of the wedding cake to wife of former Vice President Haja Titi Atiku Abubakar, who later conducted the exercise in the presence of others who served as observers. The couple fed each other later and quickly had the bridal dance session. And uh, I will uh, spell out the name of God, Allah, and at the end, you will call the And we are going to start with one, Allah. Or is this something we should spell? Allah. A, 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 A. Allah will be the man of the family. First of all, I want to congratulate the couple and uh, to say that, as has been said, the first thing is patience. I think if Her Excellency was here herself, that is what she would say, because she always says that she's for patience, and with patience comes peace. 
and with peace will be understanding and love will endure in your home. Secondly, I'd like to advise what the chairman said in his opening remark that Safiya and Asya, don't forget the stomach infrastructure of your husbands. You need to look after that and make sure they're well fed. I would also say that Uma and Yahaya are brothers. You have married them on the same day. So Asya and uh, Safiya, sisters to each other. Don't try and come between the brothers. Instead, promote their unity and support each other. And God will support your marriage. The most beautiful thing you ever do is to love your wives. I have a wife, one wife, and I love her very dearly. She's everything to me. And I tell you, when you do that, you will never have any problem from your wives. It's the key issue. It's the most important thing. Give them the love they have. And once you give it to them, you have the best peace in your home. After the remarks by the First Lady and the President through their representatives, a number of close friends and families of the couple took to the stage to give the brides and their grooms some vital tips that will make their wedding a huge success. The best ingredients in preserving a long marriage is patience, patience, patience. And so you have to be patient with each other, but above all, love each other, rely on each other. And so when Isa Ibuda was coming to Canada, to seek the hand of the daughter of my brother and friend, uh, Yusuf, one of my most senior officers in Canada. But uh, Mr. Yukuda said he wasn't going to come with anybody from Nigeria. He only come, came with his wife, Biodu, because he said he only, already has a senior brother, Ojoma Nekwe, in Canada. I was very humbled by that thought. It showed how people can come together in government become brothers and friends and through their union other unions can be possible I only advise to them when they decide to know each other no one was present all I can say when our parents married we didn't know our parents we married for 55 years so these you want to love themselves my prayer, therefore, they should continue to love themselves. That's our prayer and prayer of the parents. Once again, congratulations and God bless you. Thank you. My word to you, on behalf of governors here present at this forum, at this event, you must first of all trust yourselves. You must believe in Allah. You must be guided by the lives of your parents. You must equally continue to communicate. Prayer is very important in your life. And try to stay together and talk to each other and keep fat parties out of your lives. Because when you have fat parties in your life, that's when you have problem coming in. The high point of the wedding was when the mother of the grooms, Hajja Hawa Abioni Yuguda, and her friends descended heavily on the dance floor to exhibit their joy through rigorous dancing. <laughs> There was a long drawn out photo and video session as the couple and their parents took turns to have a snapshot with a long lineup of their friends and family members. Baby, this thing that sweet is shock you like for me. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy, daddy, it ain't make you want to spend all your money. The very entertaining and well attended wedding of the Yuguda brothers, Yahaya and Umar, children of Governor Isa Yuguda of Bauchi State and his Lagos State born wife, Hajja Hawa Abiona Yuguda, and their wives ended with a hearty dancing session. This involved the couples, their friends, and family members. From the Biscuit Communications family, his wishing Governor Isa Yuguda, his wife Hajja Hawa Abiona Yuguda, the couples and their parents, a very successful marriage, blessed with fruits of the womb. Let's go, 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 let's go